YouTube, it's your boy, it's called the TV. Back on another story. So, where should I motherfucking be again? Where should I be Okay, so, this is a little quick story for y'all. This was just happening to me today, right? I get off work. I'm on my way home. So, I leave work, get on the train, take the train, 42nd Street. Get to 42nd Street, get me a ticket, get ready to get on the bus. Before I get all that situated, I go to I go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts, get me a sandwich and a donut. I notice this lady. She's uh, at Dunkin' Donuts, too. Regular lady, I didn't think not another lady. What made me look at her was how paranoid she was looking. Paranoid, looking in every direction, looking over her shoulder constantly. She made me feel nervous about standing next to her. So I quickly got my shit and moved. Then I went upstairs, waited for the bus to load, see the lady again. She's walking towards my direction. You know where I'm waiting at. And she's looking over her shoulder constantly. Now, it's about 8.50. This is around the time the bus start loading people up. She's on my bus line. I'm like, fuck, this paranoid lady. She looking over her shoulder. She looking back. She looking back. People in front of her like, you all right, man? You all right, man? She, yeah, yeah. She get on the bus. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Everything's cool. She seems like she's calmed down. She seems like she's good. She seems like she's better now. Whoever was following her, probably gone. So I'm on the bus. I'm chilling. I get a phone call from my shorty. My shorty called me and her chopping it up. And as the bus is loading up and the bus is taking off, a guy comes running through. He's looking. So I'm like, I'm putting two to two together real quick. That must be the dude she's been running from. Oh, okay. He don't know what bus she went on. So he's asking people, have you seen this lady? Have you seen this lady? Da, da, da. One of the dudes who happens to be a bum, he like, I seen that lady. She got on that bus that's leaving right now. That bus that's leaving right there. Right? Now, the bus that we're on has tenant windows, so you can't really see inside unless the light is on in the bus. There was no lights. So he's like, you sure? You sure? I'm like, yeah, she got on that bus. She got on that bus. So I'm like, fuck. I'm looking at the lady. She peeped the dude looking at the bus. He runs in that direction. So the bus take off. She probably in her mind like, he ain't going to never find me. He ain't going to never catch up to me. The motherfucker caught up to us. We're on the highway. We get to, where we get to? Sullivan County. The nigga gets on the bus. He got on the bus, y'all. He got on the bus and he sat right next to her. They're talking, but when they're talking, they're talking very low. He's saying something and she's kind of speaking so people, other people can hear. It. But at the same time, he's doing something to, to keep her down at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, she would try to get loud and he would try to like either hit her in a way we all couldn't see or he'll say something and she'll, she'll crouch right back down. So I'm peeping on the situation and I'm half asleep because I'm tired. I just did an overnight half sleep, going in and out of sleep. Mind I'm on the phone with my shorty. Um, she's doing something on her end. So she's technically not paying me any mind. I'm like, thank God, because I'm tired and I wanted to take a nap on the bus. So with that being said, this was shit get rocked. The nigga goes to the bathroom. The lady asking people, can I have a pen, can I have a pen, can I have a pen? I give her a pen. I'm like, oh, I found one, here. She takes the pen, she writes a note. She cracks the window of the bus. I don't know how she did it. But when we got to another area, she cracked the window and she kind of threw the paper out the window. A police officer sees the shit. So, police officer sees it, but by the time he sees it, the girl is already off the bus. Now, mind you, the dude was in the bathroom when she did that. So the next stop, she jumped off the bus. Pew. And the dude was like, what the fuck? Where the fuck she go? Where the fuck she go? So one of the passengers was like, yo, she jumped off. He like, fuck, 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 fuck. So he ends up sitting down because the bus is in motion now. 
she jumps off the bus. She's running around. Uh, uh, his homeboy calls him. Yo, yo, I see you, I see you. They chasing her. You feel what I'm saying? He was like, get her, get her, get her. They're chasing this lady, right? In the midst of their chasing her, they're also shooting at her, right? And this is all after she jumped off the bus. I see this going on as the bus is taking off. They shoot at her. Bah, 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 bah. So the cops hear it. The cops goes towards the shooting. The guy disappears. The lady is still running around. The guy gets off at the next stop. Tell the guys to come get him. The police ends up pulling the bus over two times. Two times. They pulled over the bus and say, hey, it was a letter coming from this bus saying, help me. Help me. I should have recorded them so y'all could see like this shit was serious. But I was so taken away because I thought somebody on the bus had drugs on them or some shit. And I thought they was trying to see who had it. And I'm like, yo, I'm too tired for this. I'm talking to my shorty. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, yo, the bus got pulled over. She's like, what? I'm like, the bus got pulled over. She's like, no, I heard you, but I'm just shocked. I'm like, oh, because the bus got pulled over. So the bus get pulled over. The second time they get pulled over, I had just gotten out of my sleep. I had woken up. I was like, wait a minute, why we stopped again? I look up. It's two um, state troopers on the bus. The dude is telling the bus driver what's going on. The bus driver was even blasphemous. He didn't even know this was going on. They get a radio in. It was a shootout in a, in a town previous. So they like, was that passenger on this bus? The bus driver like, I don't know. It been a lot of people. He said, was it a guy who was eager to get off the bus? He was like, yeah, he jumped off at the last stop. And the last stop was uh, somewhere in, in Monroe. He jumped off in Monroe. So they radio it in, look for a guy in Monroe. Da, 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 da. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What is going the fuck on? Apparently, this lady was, um, she had taken in a robbery with a few other guys. And apparently she disappeared with some of the money. You see what I'm saying? And they was looking for her to get that money back or to do the next best thing. Obviously, they didn't want the money back if they went out in a blaze of glory at her ass while she was running. So, what, uh, after that happened, all that commotion happened. The bus finally takes off. I get to, the, I get to my stop. And it's police going crazy everywhere. Right? The lady ended up at the mall. I don't know how she got there, but she ended up at the mall. And they was at the mall banging out at the mall. She was running around playing hide and go seek. They were seeing her and like, no, for shots after shots, shots, shots and shit. And I'm hearing this all on the dispatcher because it was a cop sitting at the stop I was at. He was sitting there. And his radio was very loud. So I could hear the commotion going on. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Right? So I'm saying like, yo, this is crazy that this is going on in this town. A shootout in the mall. They end up apprehending the lady. They apprehend her. Because instead of still running for her life, she had to get caught by the cops. So they'll have a hard time getting to her. Cops snatched her up. The guys disappeared into the wind. People was describing how they look, but they couldn't find these guys. I don't know if they was a mastermind that's switching out their identities and shit. But in all reality, there's a lot of underground shit going on in this world that we don't know. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. And look, you don't want to be a part of the underground shit because it seems like it's so much more fun. It seemed like there's so much entertainment. It seemed like they make more money when it's underground. Nobody don't know their identity. It's like being part of the men in black and nobody really knows your name. They just see you, that guy in that black and white tux, shooting at aliens or chasing unusual people. But that life seems so entertaining to me for some sort of reason. I just needed to share that with y'all. And I low-key want to be a part of the underground life. I want to experience going through 
the Chinese store, going through the back of the Chinese store into another world. There's gambling. There's strippers. There's UFC fucking fights. There's chicken bettings. I want to be a part of the underground life. There's also drug dealers out there it's just splurging money. I want to be there picking up some of them ends, putting it in my pocket and meeting some of these drug dealers and making little connections. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my story for today. I'm having another one for y'all later on tonight. It's your boy Carter. And I'm out.